100 years ago, the War Memorial tablets at Money Moor were unveiled, but the process had begun in February 1919 when a public meeting was held in the Assembly Rooms. It was initially the plan that the memorial would take the form of a monument, but this was abandoned in January 1921 following a submission from local ex-servicemen who objected to a monument war memorial as it would be of no practical value and would be a waste of money. The ex-servicemen had suggested several additions and improvements to the assembly rooms with a tablet recording the names of those who had served and died. The committee approached the Board of Trustees of the Manor of Draper's Charity, who owned the assembly rooms, to submit the proposed changes, which were subsequently accepted. In May 1921, the Moneymore War Memorial Committee decided to erect one tablet at the assembly rooms, listing all those from the district who had served, with the fatalities being recorded in a central panel. By 1922, the decision had been made to have a stone tablet naming the war fatalities and a separate brass plaque naming those who had served. Again, an objection was raised by local ex-servicemen, as there was to be no distinction between those who had served overseas and those who had provided home service. The committee decided that those who had served overseas would be named first on the plaque. The memorial tablet and plaque in Money Moor were unveiled on Thursday 12th October 1922 by Brigadier General Sir William Hackett Payne, who made reference to the ongoing unrest in Turkey and the prospect of civil war in that country. The tablet on the outside wall of the assembly rooms is made of Irish limestone with, with a red Aberdeen granite panel on which the names of 25 men from the district who died are recorded. The memorial was the work of James Robinson of York Street in Belfast and features a laurel wreath and palm fronds at the base. The entablature features crossed bayoneted rifles and standards surmounted by a crown with a cannon on either side. Three sons of William Fitzwilliam Lennox Cunningham and Laura Calvert are, are both not served in the Great War and are commemorated on the tablets. Two made the ultimate sacrifice and one survived. John Staples Molesworth Lennox Cunningham was born on 23rd November 1861 in Money Moor and completed his education at the Royal Military College at Sandhurst, being commissioned as a second lieutenant with effect from 22nd January 1881. He held the rank of captain when he married Harriet Violet Donaldson in London on 17th December 1891 and was a major in the 1902 Army List. He was a lieutenant colonel and stationed at Curra Military Camp in Kildare with 2nd Battalion Connaught Rangers in 1911. He retired on half pay in 1912 but was recalled after the start of the Great War and appointed as commanding officer of the 6th Battalion Connaught Rangers. He was deployed to France with 16th Irish Division in December 1915 and was killed in action on 3rd September 1916 during the Battle of Guillemont a phase of the Battles of the Somme 1916. He was 54 years old and is buried in the Carnoy Military Cemetery near Albur. Locally he is commemorated on the memorial tablet for Desert Lynn Church of Ireland in Money Moor, on the 1921 memorial tablet in the Coke Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and on the modern war memorial in Coke. He is also commemorated in the graveyard at Desert Lynn Parish Church on a family memorial the gravestone being similar in shape and style to the Commonwealth War graves headstones. He left his widow effects totalling £3,288, 18 shillings and 8 pence, which would be in excess of 220000 in current terms. His brother Hubert Maxwell Lennox Cunningham was born on 18th October 1869 at Fitzwilliam Street in Dublin. He joined the Army Veterinary Corps in 1897 and served in the 1902-1903 Somaliland campaign. Hubert Lennox Cunningham held the rank of captain when he married Eva Darley on 19th October 1909 at Kilturnan Parish Church in Rathdown, Dublin. During the First World War he attained the rank of major and was mentioned in dispatches on three occasions once by General Sir John French and twice by General Sir Douglas Haig. 
He was appointed as a temporary lieutenant colonel in July 1916 and was awarded the Distinguished Service Order in the 1917 New Year's Honours List. Hubert Maxwell Lennox Cunningham was invalided to the UK in May 1917 and later returned to light administrative duty at depots in England. He died of a cerebral haemorrhage on Friday 15th March 1918 at Chester and is buried in the Kilgobbin Old Church Cemetery in Dublin. Inside the assembly rooms was a brass tablet with a solid oak border which records the names of 132 men from the district who had volunteered for war service and had returned home after the cessation of hostilities. 107 of these men had seen overseas service while 25 had served at home. The list of names includes William Arbuthnot Lennox Cunningham. Four men on the tablet had received gallantry awards. Major William McCormick Sharp, Royal Garrison Artillery, was wounded, mentioned in dispatches twice and awarded the Distinguished Service Order. He was born on 11th January 1893 to John William Sharp, a Presbyterian minister, and Sarah Weir McCormick, and he is commemorated on the Roll of Honour for Second Moneymoor Presbyterian Church. Corporal George McEwen, 1st Battalion Royal Inniskilling Fusiliers, and T.J. Morris were awarded the Military Medal. Second Lieutenant Stuart Lecky MacIver of the Royal Field Artillery was awarded the Military Cross in November 1916 for conspicuous gallantry in action. He established communication from a captured trench under condition of great danger. He repeatedly went back through a heavy barrage to mend the line, showing the greatest disregard for his own personal safety. Stuart MacIver was born on 16th May 1895 to Dr. William MacIver and Josephine MacIver Nay Leckie, and the family lived at High Street in Money Moor. Stuart MacIver was studying dentistry at Edinburgh University when the war commenced and was a cadet in the Officers' Training Corps when he received his commission in May 1915, being deployed to France in July 1915. He held the rank of Major when he relinquished his commission and is commemorated on the Roll of Honour for First Money Moor Presbyterian Church. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.